name is Lisa Lundy. I'm a motivational speaker, a mother, a wife. I'm also the author of The Super Allergy Girl Allergy and Celiac Cookbook, a gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, tree nut-free, peanut-free, and other allergen food-free cookbook that actually makes great foods. Today, we're going to talk about creating a college or university internship something that big businesses often take advantage of, but nonprofit organizations and smaller individual or sole proprietorships or smaller businesses don't know where to begin. So what I'm gonna tell you is, first of all, I've got a little tip sheet that I've put on my website that you can download for free. It's a short two-page document that goes into greater detail things I'm gonna talk about right now. So first of all, you have to decide if you're doing a paid or unpaid internship. You can do unpaid internships. You just have to know and be able to supervise, coach, and mentor students in that area. So you can't have an unpaid internship in a subject you know nothing about and that you'd be incapable of, of mentoring and coaching and teaching students about. But you can do a paid internship. Paid internships can be paid by the hour, by a stipend, by flat amount. You know, you work that out. So the first thing you want to do is decide are you paying, are you not paying, what area you're going to do it in, and then you want to decide, you want to write up a program. You write up a program about what you'd actually have the students do, the what, when, why, where, how, how much, and all of the details. Then you're going to research your schools or colleges or universities. Then you're going to submit your written program. Once you've submitted your program, you'll either get accepted or you might get rejected. Listen. I was rejected before I was accepted by Penn State University for my internship program, so don't let a little rejection dampen your party. Just apply to another school or have someone else look at your program and see you know, why they might have rejected you. The first time I was rejected, the only time I was rejected, they didn't even look at my program. So don't let a little rejection get you down. Then, once you're accepted, meet with the college or university officials. Find out their expectations, what would really have a, be a win for them, and make sure that you deliver on their expectations. Because when you do that and the students are happy and learn, they're going to want to have you back year after year, and you'll create a great relationship with that college or university. Manage your interns well. Don't leave them sitting around doing nothing. That's one of the worst problems that internship programs have, and that doesn't leave the students happy. Not only do you want to manage your interns, you want to anticipate some of their needs. You have to remember, these are college students, and sometimes they're not assertive enough or bold enough to say, hey, this is what we really need, or this is what I need. Create a win-win, and as you go along, keep re-evaluating your program. And for more great tips on how to create a college internship or university internship program and other helpful documents, please visit my website at www.com the superallergycookbook.com.